there's a new Blade Ball update and this one is a banger. There's a bunch of new stuff, so I'm going to go through everything I possibly can, give you all of the information and try it out. Because I'm brand new to this, I haven't seen anything, so let's get into it. So the first thing is over at the server selection screen by the right here. You can see that this is a noob jumping around, holding his leg that seems to be on fire, and he's above some lava. And that's because there's a brand new LTM at the floor is lava. It looks a little weird, but if I spectate someone, then it will probably look a bit better. So you can see that there's a ginormous map, really tall, and there is lava that goes up and it's normal blade ball as well so you've got to keep that in mind it's pretty interesting okay here we go we have the lava will rise in three seconds okay so immediately we're just going to go up i'm going to go as high up as i possibly can we're already one of the tallest but we have to keep an eye out of when we turn red because then the balls are coming towards us okay all oh, balls heading towards me bang hit it down below and we killed someone okay pretty cool and we are now at the top so now I can just chill here. I need to keep an eye out on the ball. I'm killing people left, right, and center. It's literally just me and that guy who's pretty far down, it must be said. He seems pretty chill right now. I messed up. I completely, I threw that. I completely threw that. There's also this lava crate right here and you get a ticket. I assume you get a ticket if you win, I'm pretty sure. If you get the win, then you uh, get the uh, lava crate and there's eight different rewards, including the volcanic axe, which is 1%. That looks awesome. We also have a lava pack right here. It's worth 2,500 Robux. Apparently you get the Eruption emote, you get 25 tickets to spin with this uh, kind of a uh, wheel machine and you get the lava lamp sword. There we go, we bought it. So let's have a look at the sword first. This is the limited lava lamp staff. That's actually really cool. It's literally a lava lamp that's on your uh, hand. That is actually really nice. And then we have the eruption emote. Pretty cool, actually. That's not bad. Look at that. You just, you hold down, explode and there's a giant kind of a uh, crater below you. That's actually really nice. And of course, we got the 25 tickets. All right, we start with the lava blade. All right, we got the Panic Shuffle. Oh, the 6% Molten Slayer. The 5% Lava Beam Explosion. The 24% Magma Burst Explosion. The 26% Magma Blade Sword. And the final spin of 25, we're gonna get a duplicate. It's gonna be the 9% Sword. So that means we have everything except for the Hot Feet Emote and the Volcanic Axe Sword. Here's the 23% Panic Shuffle Emote. That's actually pretty cool. That's, I don't actually mind that one. That one's quite nice. The 26% Magma Blade is actually really nice this one's like the most common reward and it's actually pretty good i'm actually pretty happy with that the nine percent lava blade it's not bad it's pretty cool i actually think i prefer the other one the 26 percent, but it's still good and then the six percent molten blade looks sick wow yeah very cool there's also a brand new lunar spin right here in the corner next to the valentine's event so every hour that you're logged into the game you'll get a spin and if you're logged in for four hours then you will receive extra spins and extra luck there's a bunch of ability trials you can see you'll get abilities for 15 minutes you've got quantum arena infinity uh serpent shadow clone uh continuity zero titan blade phantom death slash uh calming deflection dribble and dragon spirit if that doesn't deserve a subscribe and a like i don't know what will because i just remembered all of those there's also an emote right there which looks cool and the best price is the dragon fire katana and of course just like in every update there are new limited swords you go to this guy in the corner over here we've got the dual shadow daggers right there the shadow dagger kind of the uh, single version the shadow mirage and the dual shadow mirage now the final thing that's new is an ability this is actually disabled inside of flora's office so we're going to go into a public server to check it out but this is hell hook it costs 7500 and it deploys a hook that forces a player towards you the first upgrade actually lowers the cooldown and that's for 3750 coins and then the second upgrade makes it the infernal chains it reskins the ability with a lower cooldown and an increased stun time for 7500 coins all right so here we are we've got uh, some telekinesis i'm gonna shoot that and then I'm gonna yank that person towards me. Okay, so as you saw there, I kind of yanked them to me. So I guess if the ball's coming to me, I can kind of yank them towards me and then hit the ball. So then maybe it'll probably target them. All right, here we go. And towards me, I'm gonna do that. Okay, and they deflected it well. Okay, they did very well there. All right, we're gonna try now. Okay, oh, I was too far away from people. Okay, so you can't do it across the map. Okay, that's good to know. Even even when it's max upgraded, you still need to be kind of close to someone to be able to do it. It's not letting me use the ability. Okay, that was weird. It, it, I, was, I was clicking it and nothing was happening. Maybe you can only use it a certain amount of times per game. I'm gonna yank you and then do that. Okay, and they deflected it. <laughs> I don't even think I hit them. That's the thing. You can't, at least on mobile, you can't target people. So this makes it kind of difficult for a mobile player because the whole point of this is kind of get someone close to you and hit it and target them with it but i can't target on on, on mobile okay i'm gonna yank you and then just i just i didn't even hit them with it okay they're hitting to me uh, I did nothing. I, was I too far away? I, I feel I was. I, I feel like I'm pretty close to that green person right there. I think maybe you can only use it three times per game. That's kind of the impression that I'm getting because 
when I click it, nothing happens. Like, nothing is happening right now. We win. Okay, it makes sense why the ability is so cheap, because I, I was honestly expecting it to be really expensive. It's not. I, I wouldn't recommend it uh, very much, especially for a mobile player. If you're on PC, you'll probably have a better experience with it. But let me know your thoughts, not only on this ability, but on this update in the comment section down below. For me, my favorite part has to be, unquestionably, the Floor is Lava game mode. That seems really fun. It's very different to kind of normal Bladeball, and I'm looking forward to playing that some more. Make sure to subscribe to the channel and leave a like on this video if you want to see more Bladeball and Roblox content. If you want to check out my last Bladeball video, that's right there. I checked out the Valentine's update. We had a brand new Valentine's event, a duo's kill race, a bunch of other stuff as well, 10% off gifts. Some of it still exists now in the game, so you might want to check it out right there to get all the loose on the update. Thanks so much for watching this video. My name is Idiom D, and as always, peace out.